So as you know, Sonic is a franchise that has a lot of interesting environments. It's known for having its interesting environments. You've seen them, you've played the Sonic games, you know that there's a lot more that the franchise has to offer than Green Hill. So why is it that the movie is mainly featured in Green Hill? Oh sorry, Green Hills. Even if we did see another environment, it was something simple for like a few seconds or whatever, like the mushroom area was a pretty basic thing to recreate as opposed to recreating the futuristic city of Grand Metropolis or the insane amount of elements of Starlight Carnival, for example. And why was Sonic the only main CGI character in the movie? Before you go, I've watched the movie, there was the Echidna tribe for five seconds, there was Tails for five, you know, you know what I mean, okay? I mean, main, throughout the whole movie, there was one CGI character, and that was Sonic. Well, the explanation has finally come out, and to not my surprise, but maybe to yours, it's budget limitations. So there's an interview with the Sonic movie writers, and they asked them, was there ever any temptation to take Sonic more off-world for the film, or to use more of the flashy elements from other entries in the franchise? And the writer Josh responds, the boring, practical reason why we stayed on Earth was because of the budget. It was made apparent to us what the limitations were. Everyone, the studio, the producers, our director, hoped that this is like what they did with The Purge, the first movie, where you can hint at what greater world can be out there, and then if the first movie is a success, then we could start opening that up. We kind of just wanted to get our foot in the movie door. Then Pat adds, just the practicality of it. Each CGI character costs a lot to make. In an early draft of this, we had a lot of CG characters and a lot of the alien worlds. And then Josh adds, and then one by one, it was like, you gotta cut this. So of course, because Sonic has had a rough transition into the third man and the reputation is not as high as you think. I guess a lot of people expected that the movie wasn't going to do that well. As it's turning out though, the movie is surpassing Detective Pikachu in sales. We didn't see this shit coming, so naturally they didn't either, which is why the Sonic movie had a budget of 85 million as opposed to Detective Pikachu, which had 150 million. If you've watched Detective Pikachu, you know that the environments are way more like detailed and futuristic looking and there's a lot more Pokemon in the movie, whereas the Sonic movie has one main CG character and Green Hills, which is, you know, mostly not CGI except for when Sonic's in his wall. So they really, you can tell that the budget was not the same. And if they had known that it was going to support Sector Pikachu, maybe they would have had a bigger budget. But at least that means there's opportunities for the sequel. A lot of people kind of thought, or well, trying to defend it before the movie came out and going, oh, we only need Sonic because, you know, it's an origin story, this is a stat. But the reality of the situation is that they wanted to do more. They didn't have the budget. So we can only hope now that with the budget that they'll get for the next movie, because at this point it's definitely going to get greenlit they're going to go in and add more futuristic more interesting looking environments like imagine starlight carnival imagine grand metropolis with big budget and we'll definitely see entails in the sequel naturally because you know we've seen the movie now and who knows what else they can add with a bigger budget but it's good to know that they're aware of this it's good to know that they didn't just you know say that this is how it was supposed to be and that we wanted it to be just green hills that, that I, it's good that they're not admitting that green hills was what they really wanted because otherwise it means they don't know what the fuck they're doing it's good that they said no we wanted to do more we just couldn't afford to because it means that with the sequel there's a whole lot more opportunities and i said this in my review i said the sequel was setting up to be better than the first movie and given that this interview has come out i 100 stand by this the sequel probably be longer bigger budget more interesting environments tales edition i'm gonna do a full video where i discuss what we can expect to see in the sequel because there's a lot of interesting points i want to bring out but yeah let me know what you guys think about this information are you surprised did you think that they wanted it to just be green hill and sonic or did you think it was a budget thing from the start i certainly did be yeah, a like comment subscribe hit the bell make sure to check out the non-sonic channel link in the description but that's all i have to say right now so remy out